What's up guys, welcome to Daily Dose of Reddit. This is your host, Zach, and today's subreddit is r slash entitled parents. This story is called, Entitled Mother Insults Me for Ordering Crust on My Pizza. Well, this was interesting. Never thought I'd encounter an entitled mother while ordering pizza, but hey, they are everywhere. Here's the cast. Entitled Mother, My Mom, Me, Story. Before I begin, I just want to say that I don't know how pizzas are prepared in other countries, but here in Brazil, most pizza places tend to have the customer choose to fill up the crust with some sort of cream cheese, either being cream cheddar, chocolate, or my favorite, katupuri. If you don't know what katupuri is, 10 out of 10 recommend. It's freaking delicious. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's begin. So I ordered my usual pizza from the usual place I order. But instead of having it delivered, I decided to go pick it up myself because I was bored AF at home and wanted to leave the house. So me and my mom head there to get the pizza. Once we get there, the place is quite busy as it was a Friday night and many families were there enjoying themselves. But I certainly didn't enjoy what happens next. So the counter was very close to the tables. If someone pays close attention, they can actually hear what the cashier and customer are saying. Good evening, uh, I came to pick up the insert three flavor pizza on the name of insert my name. Ah uh, yes, of course. He signals for someone to collect the pizza from the kitchen. Let me guess, you want a katupuri on the crust, right? Great choice, dude. <laughs> There's nothing better, am I right? <laughs> Entitled mother interjects herself in the conversation for whatever reason. I'm sorry, did you just say you were going to eat the crust? Ah, that's disgusting. Don't you know how to eat a pizza properly? Don't you know what's good about pizza? Also, insert my choice of flavor. You're freaking weird. At least I don't look like I ate the entire restaurant. Shut your butt up, pipsqueak. I was way taller than her. How dare you? Don't you know how to respect your elders? Respect is earned, not gained because of your age. If you want respect, you better start showing it towards others, lady. Shut up, you're such a dookie shoot. Well, get to the back of the line, lady, because you're not the first person to tell me that. Also, wow, took you this long to figure it out? Must have used what little brain cells you have on those unoriginal insults of yours. Watch your freaking tone. If you insult me again, I'll... You'll what? My mom went to the bathroom and got back just as Entitled Mother was shouting at me. And she said that in a loud and angry tone. One thing you need to know about my mother. She can be very nice if you're nice to her. But if you peek her off, well, better write your will right there and then. Who the F are you? The person who's going to send you to the ER if you don't tell me why you're shouting at my son. He's your son? <laughs> that explains it. Like mother, like son. If the mom's a bench, then the son's a failed get out of baby card. Entitled mother didn't get to finish her insult before my mom clocked her right in the face. Then, cashier and almost every waiter at the restaurant charged at the two of them to separate them. Actually, I lied. It was more like they were trying to pry my mom off of Entitled Mother because my mom was raining punches on her and saying a bunch of things that I'm not going to include here because what my mom said would make even Voldemort cry. By the time my mom was removed off Entitled Mother, Entitled Mother was bleeding from the nose. Her eyes were swollen and her lips were busted on both sides. Entitled Mother was crying, or at least trying since her mouth was completely swollen and busted and she could barely talk. Police were called, obviously, and once they arrived, they both took statements from witnesses. Well, Entitled Mother was talking crap, but my mom actually made the first move. But they understood that she was simply defending me from her trash talking. Instead of arresting her for assault, the cops just gave her a fine. Not a big one, but not cheap either, and told her to simply report people for harassment instead of... And I kid you not, when I say the cop told her, Pulling a mom home at Ali! On Entitled Mother. I already love this dude. Cashier apologized for Entitled Mother's behavior and told my mom to have the pizza for free. But my mom declined, saying that she felt it wasn't fair just because she got into a fight. And wasn't deserving of special treatment. My mom can be very proud sometimes. Instead, the cashier and manager insisted on writing down her name so she could have a discount on her next order. And I actually urged my mom to accept it, because cheaper pizza always tastes better. I don't know what happened to Entitled Mother afterwards, but we haven't received any notice of legal pursuits or anything. Considering that Entitled Mother didn't know our names nor managed to get our license plates or anything, so aside from the fine, we got off easy. 
So, hooray, I guess. Okay, I hate entitled mothers as much as the next dude, but I think your mom might have went a little bit too far. I mean, I feel like beating a woman within an inch of her life is a bit extreme for just insulting you and your pizza choice. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Let me know in the comments below if you think uh, these actions were justified. Also, this was in Brazil. Do, do they speak English a lot in Brazil? Because I feel like they speak mostly uh, Portuguese, right? So does Mohammed Ali work in Portuguese? I feel like it wouldn't. Fishy, fishy. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. This story is called Entitled Mother Doesn't Accept German Law. As the title says, Entitled Mother was on vacation in Germany and somehow got angry when the people here don't obey the American law. Only there was a bit more drama involved. We start learning English at about 14 years old. Hell, the bilingual higher education schools, but grammar isn't really my thing. Also, I think that I use a mix of British and American English, sorry in advance. Disclaimer. All I know about the American education system is that it's a disaster, so I have no idea how long a day at school is for Americans. The story. On this magical day, school ended pretty early at 12.50, and it was hot as hell. Me and my friends were on our way home and passed a supermarket. Being as financially responsible as any 16-year-olds are, we decided to buy some cold beer to celebrate the vocabulary test we survived that morning. French is hard. We were standing and drinking outside the store and talked for a while because it's Friday and we have nothing better to do when all of a sudden a wild entitled mother appeared. She had just parked and was about to enter the store when she spotted us breaking the American law in Germany. What do you think you're doing? Sorry? I said, what are you doing? Talking? Or what do you mean? How stupid do you think I am? Respect your elders. You're drinking alcohol. Yes. So? We bought it. We thought maybe she was accusing us of stealing since we look like the kind of people store owners warn their employees about? Yes, you are. Where are your parents? How old are you? We don't have to tell you that. <laughs> I'm gonna call the police. You're gonna see. What? Why? Do you even know the number? It's not 911. I was going to ask one of the cashiers in there and tell them you're drinking alcohol. That's your problem? I don't know crap about age limits in the United States, so I really didn't know what she was on about. You look like babies and you're drinking highly toxic alcohol. What? Y you mean beer? My friends have all started laughing at this point. Beer is only 4.5%, which is why people who are 16 years and older are allowed to buy and consume beer in Germany. Also, wine and sparkling wine. And I think everyone knows that Germans drink a lot of beer. It's like Russians and vodka. We're legally old enough to drink it. We showed our IDs to the cashier and they wouldn't have sold it to us otherwise. That's it! She ran into the store and my friends were seriously thinking about leaving because people had started staring at us. But we also wanted to see what she would do. Not even two minutes later, we can hear the lovely voice again, and she's got an employee with her. See? They're drinking high percentage alcohol in public, and they're skipping school for it! She didn't even ask us if we had school. I said in German, classes are already over and we're just drinking beer. Employee asks us if we bought it in the store. We say yes, he knows we had to show our IDs to get them. Everything's good. He didn't ask us about skipping school, and honestly, why should he? Employee says to Entitled Mother, They're old enough for beer and drinking in public isn't illegal. I don't care if you think they can handle it. My baby shouldn't be exposed to this. In this moment, I realized she's not only a Karen. No, she's a legendary Entitled Mother. What baby? He's in the car. He could see them through the window. How old is he? He's only three, but he could imitate them and start drinking too. He's really smart, you know. And children copy everything they see. I want them gone. She says this in a weird, calm way, like she's doing something like this regularly. It's way too hot for a three-year-old child to be alone in a car. Entitled mother gets angry. And please stop bothering our customers. Entitled mother explodes. How dare you? I want the police called now. 
Do Americans really call the police for everything? Genuine question. I'm going to call the police because of child neglect if you don't take your kid with you shopping. You're gonna regret this. I have friends here. My friends interrupt her. Dang, really? You? Friends? Wow! Employee pulled his phone out and tapped on the screen. No idea who he was gonna call. She quickly jumped into her car while glaring daggers at us and literally fled the scene. And I didn't see if there was a kid in the car, but we didn't hear one, so she probably lied. I mean, three-year-olds are always making noise when awake and couldn't have been asleep with her yelling like that. The employee just apologized and went back to work. Kind of disappointing ending, but my friends and I have a story to laugh about whenever we buy beer. This story is called, Entitled Parents Try to Take Away My Around 650 Euros Worth of Collectibles. This is a long one. Backstory. I'm a huge Transformers nerd, but because my country is kinda oblivious to the things happening to the outside world, getting new and cool Transformers stuff is hard. Also, the websites that have the coolest stuff don't usually ship here. I do go to the UK once every summer, but that's only for a week. To fix my lack of nerd merch problem, I order something from a website, set the shipping address to one of my friends in the UK, and then they send the package here. Then afterwards, I PayPal him the money he spent on the shipping. A bit complicated, but it works. The real story begins. I was at the post office once again to get my package of stuff. I had ordered four items. Transformers Masterpiece Optimus Prime 3.0, around 500 euros, and three Star Trek ship models, around 50 euros. The post office was quite busy today. Whole seven people were in there, normally zero to three people. Two of those seven people caught my eye, or my ear to be more exact. A couple in their late 20s, who were a bit farther away, were ranting. How the line was moving too slowly and that the workers are too slow. Just like I do with a lot of things, I ignore them and just wait there. After some waiting, my turn arrives. I get my package. The cashier was surprised how heavy the smaller type package was and asked me what I have in there. I explained to her that it's my casual nerd things, aka transformers and spaceships, and left. The real story gets really real. I got out of the post office and rushed to my car. I had gotten the box into the boot slash trunk and had gotten myself in the car, when I heard knocking on the roof of my car. I let down the window, peek out, and it's the whining couple. The real story that was quite real got even realer. Hello, is there a problem? Entitled mother with a, I don't give a dang about you, I just want your stuff, but I try to be nice for once, aka the I-D-G-D-A-Y-I-J-W-Y-S-B-I-T-T-B-N-F-O voice. Hi, we just wanted to ask you about the box you got in the post office. Oh, uh, my Transformers? Yes, uh, those things. Well, if you are asking about the fact that I'm an adult playing with something a lot of people consider as children's toys, then I can't give you a solid answer. No, we would like to buy the entire box. You're kidding, right? I just got them. I have never even opened the box. And also, the one Transformers toy that is in there cost around 500 euros. What? 500 euros? And there's also three Starship models that cost 50 euros each. 30 euros! I said they're not for sale. But we need something for our son. He turned five a couple weeks ago and he forgot to get something for him. Yes, he actually said that he forgot his son's birthday. As I said, these things are expensive and way too fragile to let a five-year-old play with. Also, the transformation for Optimus is complicated, even for people with good memory. So imagine a five-year-old with it. Come on, you selfish, illegitimate child. Give us those toys. Yeah, no. I roll up the window, start the car, and drive off. Some minutes later, I notice a car is following me. Honestly, it was hard not to notice, considering that the car was bright yellow. I was going to the grocery store anyway, so I park my car at the store's parking lot. When I come back 15 minutes later, I find that a noticeable group of people has gathered around my car. I unlock the doors, only to see them trying to open the trunk. Fortunately, I opened the doors, but I left the trunk closed. But the people were so determined to open it that the whole car shook when they janked on it. Hey, what in the world is going on here? There, there's the man who took my kid's toys. Somehow, don't ask why, while I was at the store, the couple got a group of people, including the store workers, to believe some kind of lie. 
What the hell are you on about? I literally got these toys from our car's trunk. People were looking like they were ready to punch my teeth out, so I lost my temper. From the post office! I ordered these toys from the United Kingdom, then my friends sent these over to here. For God's sakes, people, if you want to see proof, step away from the car and let me open the boot. Where there's a package with my bloody name on it! I felt how my face was red hot from the unleashed anger. People stepped a couple steps back, and I opened the trunk. Straight when the trunk was fully open, the entitled mother jointed away, went a bit further away, and tried to rip off the delivery label. That is quite hard, of course. I managed to joint back the package, go to my car, grab the driving license with my name and picture on it, and show it to everyone. As soon as they saw that the package was to my name, they turned towards the entitled parents. Just then, with some amazing timing, came a cop car. One of the bystanders had called them when I engaged rage mode. Everyone tells the cops that the entitled parents tried to steal my package and showed them the evidence. One kid, who saw everything from the side, even recorded the part where I went berserk. The cop asked if I wanted to press charges. I, of course, couldn't decline. Some people later came to me and apologized for janking the trunk of my car, etc. Some time passed, and I was finally given permission to go home. Man, it's sad to see how many people are not deserving of being parents, okay? Don't forget your kid's birthday. Whatever, I'm just glad it worked out in the end and they didn't steal anything. This story's called, Entitled Parents Take Their Kids to Our Child-Free Wedding. We had been planning our wedding for a year, and we were very clear with everyone that this was a child-free event. My nieces and nephews and our friend's children were not invited, and neither were his nieces and nephews. This was not very popular with his sister. She and my ex-mother-in-law protested the decision all the way, but we wouldn't budge. Their reasoning was that it's important for the kids to be in the uncle's wedding, not very well-behaved kids. They eventually surrendered and were taking a babysitter along with them for our car drive. Only days before the wedding, I heard from mother-in-law that there had been a misunderstanding, and the babysitter was not free for the weekend after all. Kids would be coming. They knew my cowardly husband would never do anything about it, and I didn't have the time nor energy to fight them over this just before the wedding. I'm very aware that they plotted this from the very beginning, and it's had me fuming for years, even after we finally divorced in part due to his family constantly stepping over my borders and disrespecting me. Freaking don't bring your kids to child-free events. Aw, oh, you see Karen, you see Karens, I guess, I don't know. You bring children to a wedding and you get them divorced. You know that? You're the reason for this insanely high divorce rate that we have nowadays. <laughs> Anyways, all jokes aside, you guys already know this, but Come on! They asked you not to bring a kid at all, and you brought them. It's messed up, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode.